It's a beautiful day up here in the Canadian Arctic. I'm about day six of my Asgard expedition to paint in Ayahuituk National Park. 14 days of painting and sketching. So I thought I'd share a few things about uh, how I go about doing my creative work in the field. First, big Ziploc bag. Nothing beats it for keeping it uh, Keeping the pages dry. Of course, a lot of river crossings here too. So that's really important. I've got my two main items, my sketchbook and pencil set. I bring a range of pencils from uh, basically 2H, H, HB, and 2B. I don't like to go too soft. If I get into four or six or eight B, things will smudge horribly by the time I get back. More and more, I just go with a standard, good old HB pencil, a kneaded eraser, and a white gummy eraser. And there's two sides to this paper in this Canson sketchbook. There's a rough side and a fine side. My preference is the fine side. And I got some sketches underway. Some of the memories from up here. Icebergs I've come across. Rock overlooking Coronation Glacier. And the beginning of this hike. Another little view here that I'm actually looking to turn into a painting. So my sketches serve as two purposes. One is as a finished sketch, but also I will sometimes take a sketch and use it as a basis for a painting. So now, every sketch or every painting has to start with a good view. So I've got a glacier behind me. This glacier here is the um, Rundle Glacier. It's at the confluence of five different glaciers here in the park. It's just a spectacular region. And no doubt, like most of the glaciers here, they are receding. So my sketching process is pretty basic. Uh, you know, try to identify the features that attract me most and focus on those. I like to use an overhand grip when I'm holding the pencil, especially at the beginning stages, so I can kind of keep everything loose and moving along. So I this is the main glacier here. I kind of centrally located a little bit. It leaves me room around the edges of the page to change my composition if I choose to do so. I don't want to get too carried away though, because then I've got to keep everything in proportion as much as possible. Find key points, that intersects there, that mountain, and this basically it's that big diagonal line thing. Can you see that up there? Back in college, they said, use your pencil to make a line and you bring it down to your page. Well, it really works. That's the line of the mountain and it keeps staying on the page. So, so I just keep comparing points. The point of this little hill here to where it intersects that glacier there, where it comes up here and up. Then when I want to get a little more detail, I'll start to switch to a more conventional pencil holding grip like you would a pen for writing, but hold it way back. Not down here, but way back so you can keep it loose still and light. The key is to keep it light. The lighter you keep it until you're confident with your forms, then the more you can go in there and darken them later. It's awesome about sketching out plein air like this. I'm hearing right now the sound of the Arctic winds coming through these valleys over the glaciers and the water rushing off the glacier that's melting in front of me. It's a full sensory experience. It's so much more than just looking at a picture. It's being out there in the moment and being inspired firsthand. So that's a start for now. I'm just gonna sign a sketch. Date today, I'd like to date it to, what is this, July 24th, 2018. And I'll call it Dying Glacier because that's what it kind of makes me think of. And this is up in Baffin Island. So I might leave it like this or I often like to work on them a little bit more in the studio, bring a few more details into it as well but uh, try to capture the essence while I'm out here. Starting to get chilly fingers, time to move on.